How often have you been asked to give a pitch without ever being taught how to do one? As a result, you never know if you're doing it right. At Barry Katz, we specialize in helping startups design and deliver a powerful pitch to investors. An investor pitch is one of the most important presentations in the life of a business. It's very important to understand that investors see many opportunities, so we really need to make ours stand out. The three key mistakes I see startups make all the time are in the following areas. Not getting full engagement from the beginning. We are most influential when we have someone's full attention. If we don't do that, they're likely to be distracted. They may be half listening to us and we don't want that. The second mistake is not establishing credibility from the outset. Your audience is likely to be wondering, will this really work? Is it actually viable? We want to establish before we go into our presentation that it's not only technically possible, but commercially viable as well. The third mistake is lack of clarity. Many startups are complex. If we explain complex ideas with complex language, the result is confusion. And when people are confused, they freeze. So let's drill down into each of these mistakes. Let's look at the first one, not getting engagement immediately. How can we open in a way that is engaging? Use a surprising fact. And you have surprising facts. The problem that your business solves is a surprising fact. The implications of that problem are surprising. The size of the problem is surprising. And if you phrase it as a question, it's more engaging. But please avoid boring self-introductions like, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, my name is, and I'm the CEO of XYZ Company, and I'm gonna tell you about, no, that's boring. You lose the opportunity to have an impact from the very beginning. Engage first, introduce yourself afterwards. I'll give an example. A company I was working with has a pain management product, and the introduction that we created goes like this. Does anyone know how many people in the US suffer from chronic pain every day? 100 million people, and they have no satisfactory solutions. So by doing this, we've engaged the audience with an astounding fact. We've hinted at the size of the market, and we've suggested that there's no real competition. So a lot's been achieved with just that one paragraph. Mistake number two, not establishing credibility immediately. See, if we don't do this, our audience is likely to be listening to us through a cloud of doubt. How do we overcome that? Your audience wants to know who else thinks this is a good idea other than you. So we can talk about high level people on our teams or people who have given up an income somewhere else in order to work with us. We can mention high level advisors or successful fundraising rounds, current customers, number of users, POCs, trials, Mention some success early on that says someone else thinks this is a good idea. It's called social proof. And if we establish our expertise early on, we call that your white coat. So put your white coat on early and establish social proof early. Mistake number three is lack of clarity. We often use confusing language to explain complex ideas. Now people don't move forward on things that they don't understand. We need to follow the KISS principle, keep it short and simple. Avoid jargon and technical language as much as possible. You can record yourself, listen back, transcribe your script and eliminate all unnecessary complex language or find simpler ways of saying it. So three points to a really powerful pitch, engagement, credibility and clarity. Good luck, go get it. And be brief, be brilliant, be gone.